keep the school open. Katherine Johnson joins us now with more on what exactly they're doing. Katherine? Bill, they got the letter six days ago, and already parents have created a business model they say can save the school. So far, they've raised and been promised more than $125,000 and counting. Mackenzie King is a very artistic student, but her work here isn't for a grade. These sixth graders are fighting to keep Our Lady of the Lake Catholic School in Mound from closing. All the teachers and my friends are like a family to me. I've known them forever. The school pastor sent this bulletin to parents in December, assuring them there will be school here next year. Then, one month later, this letter, notifying parents the school will close at the end of the school year. We were told that the school would be open until at least 2014. And then the rug was pulled out without ever consulting the parish. We've got questions of faith. You know, these are our spiritual leaders as well. So it's a critical piece that we are able to trust them. A spokesman for the Archdiocese of St. Paul in Minneapolis told us the decision was made by parish and school leaders who consider financial data and economic trends. School board member Mike Rear says he had no warning. You're seeing faith-based schools closing left and right. They aren't, they aren't surviving. And it's, it's an old business model that needs to change. That's why these parents have built a business model for a new faith-based school that would incorporate all Christian religions as opposed to just Catholic, boosting student enrollment while keeping the same teachers That's Duncan and, and Corey. This is a lot more than just financial at this point. This is about community. At least give them a chance. The process will take a lot more paperwork than this, but these families will take everything they can get as they prepare to present it all to the archdiocese. The Archdiocese is meeting with parents at the school tomorrow night, where parents hope to learn more about that decision. Leah? All right, Catherine, thanks. Well, the bids are in. 